Uh, hi, I'm Zachary Arthur. Uh, I'm on Chucky. We just finished season two. We're going back to season three. And I'm here at the Glad Awards. I was here last year and love Glad Awards. I'd be glad to be back. Uh, uh, such a, that wasn't even intended. But, uh, and what does it mean for you to have the show recognized by Glad for you to be nominated? Uh, it's so amazing. I mean, Don, especially, he's so amazing. Um, he was one of the first people in the horror genre to really introduce the themes of LGBTQ+, especially with Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky, and um, I think it's very important that people my age are exposed to that, because he, I feel like he really grew up from a young age, and uh, me being 16, it's really, um, it's really amazing to see that I'm helping people, and people are feeling heard and seen, and um, it's really amazing to be here. And it's, I'm really very honored that God has invited me here and has nominated the show. Uh, it's so amazing. And what, what, um, how meaningful is it when you get people maybe like DMing you or just like oh, in person and asking you? Are there any stories that have typically uh, made an impact on you or just, um, you know, how meaningful is that? Um, there's like a couple times, like at least like once every couple months, there's, there's just stories that I hear. I don't want to name drop anybody, but. Um, people have been like telling me almost kind of like their life stories and how much the show has helped them. And I think it's crazy because when we filmed the show and it came out season one, we came into it with no expectations for the show and it just it a little bit the most amazing way possible and it's just so amazing to see it. And what are the goals like to interact with? Uh -huh. and is, it ever, is it ever scary? Um, oh, it's definitely scary. It's definitely scary. Um, it's interesting because it's all robotics and puppetry. None of it's special effects. So when you're acting, you see it all. But you, you kind of have to tune out the people in green screen suits, like maneuvering the doll. But the face, like those dolls, they cost like a house. You wouldn't expect that, but they're so expensive. And the reason why is because of the facial expression. It's like you're acting with a real, real person. Like you're acting with Chucky. And what's it been like being able to play this character like, continuously? As you say, you've had like two seasons, oh. and you've got another season that just like explored different sides of the character. And then, but you've yeah, yeah, the, the, um, I just say the LGBTQ aspect in it is very meaningful. Yes. But for old, old people like me <laughs> that didn't have that when they were younger. Yeah. Um, I, it's so amazing um, being able to grow up on a show in a community of people. Um, the set is just amazing. Like ever, it was like a summer camp. It's really like work. Um, and, it, and it's amazing because because we have the extra screen time, uh, the, the Chucky franchise is mostly movies, so you could really you had some exposition, you could really get, but with a show, you can really dive into the characters and really see the enduring parts, especially the character of Lexi. She started off as um, an unlikable character, but you learn the reasons behind it, and. Um, it, it's, it's very interesting to see where my character's going, and I think he's going to be um, kind of shocked, but that's all I'm going to say.